I want you to imagine that you're in a theater. You've come in, there's anticipation, the curtains rise, the show begins, you are enjoying it, you're into it. And somewhere in the midst of it all, someone runs out onto the front apron of the stage and throws a rubber snake into the audience except no one knows that in the audience. They are freaking out, crawling over the chairs, practically stampeding each other to get out because they don't realize that it was a rubber snake. I'm Elizabeth Mahusai, elite sales and leadership coach. And I want to talk with you about what I know to be called the rubber snake theory. Because you see, if we reimagine that scenario of you come in before the show begins, someone steps out onto the stage and says, so at some point, someone's going to come out here and throw a rubber snake into the audience. They've just provided you with emotional preparation. Yet in our day-to-day -day lives, in the leading of ourselves, our families, our teams, we lack providing proper expectations and emotional preparation for ourselves and for others. And it shows up in our lives because we end up reacting rather than responding. And so today I'm challenging us to really think about where do we need to take on the mindset of this rubber snake theory. Now for you individually, that could look like, what do you need to be telling yourself that allows you to have proper expectations about what is happening? Having proper expectations would sound like, you know, uh, my husband and I are going to be making a trip to Nashville in July. It's going to cost us more money to drive there than it did last year because of the gas prices. That's an example of emotionally preparing myself, preparing myself for the inevitability of the additional expense based on the, the situation happening around us. So we need to make sure that we're giving ourselves proper expectations, but it's not just us. It's our family. Uh, uh, emotional preparation for your family could be, we're in a season right now where I may need to work more. I may need to work on a Saturday or work later than anticipated in order to navigate the changes, the shifts in the market, the things that are happening in order to ensure that we are where we need to be. What is it for you? Where do you need to provide proper emotional preparation, expectations for the people around you so that they can know exactly what to expect? They can anticipate the rubber snake being thrown into their lap at some point during the production of their life in this season. Because when we choose not to provide proper expectations, when we choose not to emotionally prepare, it comes at a high cost. Yes, it could cost us money and time and energy, but you know what? It also costs us relationally as well, because this is what I know. If we don't clearly communicate expectations, our minds will create expectations. The people in our lives will assume expectations. And let's add to this, unmet expectations leads to disappointments. And so today, my challenge is that we would choose to clearly communicate the expectations that we have to ourselves, to others, and that we allow them, give them ample opportunity to be able to be prepared for what is coming, what to expect. So that's my encouragement for you today. Take hold of the rubber snake theory. Look at where you can implement that into your life, into your business, into those with whom you are um, connecting relationally with. And I look forward to you dropping a comment for how you have found this helpful, where you can apply it. And remember that when it's time for you to have someone else help you uncover those rubber snakes. I'd love to have a conversation with you about how one-on-one -on -one coaching can help you to do that. I'm Elizabeth Mahusai, your elite sales and leadership coach, and I hope you have a great day.